It's a great week for Beatle Maniacs. Ringo Starr and Paul McCartney started off the week by teaming up at Radio City Music Hall for the first time in seven years. Also this week, Apple Corps and EMI Music announced plans to release a digitally remastered version of the Beatles catalog on September 9th. The Beatles rock band video game is also set to come out that same day. The CDs will include original album art and rare band photos. Madame Tussauds Museum is known for its wax figures, but the realistic recreation of Michelle Obama unveiled this week in Washington, D.C. had a special importance. Michelle is only the third First Lady after Jackie O and Hillary Clinton to be honored with such a tribute. The life-size model was also created entirely based on photos, unlike most stars who pose for their figure. Barack has also made the record as the only person to have a wax figure in all eight locations. Viva La Vida is turning even more local for Coldplay. The band denied a recent plagiarism claim saying the similarities between their hit song and Joe Satriani's 2004 track If I Could Fly is nothing more than coincidence. Chris Martin and the boys have now taken their denial to federal court. They also received a statement on their website saying any similarities between the two pieces of music were just as surprising to the band as to Satriani. Ladies and gentlemen, the day you've been waiting for, Lindsay Lohan is finally single. This week, she was shunned out of her ex-lover, Samantha Ronson's parties, and a locksmith was spotted changing the locks of her former love nest. Lindsay announced the split by saying they were taking a break so that she could focus on herself. Insiders blame the latest drama on Ronson's family members, who supposedly started a smear campaign to convince the DJ that Lohan was an outcast, bully, and a wacko. Imagine that. I'm Anna Didio with Entertainment. Over to the sports desk.